Hi everybody, I am making this video, short video, for my good friend Jan, who lives in Australia, and I'm house sitting here in a house in um, South Austin, and I, I want to just say that Jan was very patient, um, I think she commissioned me over a year, maybe a year and a half ago to do this, and I've had so many let's just say things come up that I've finally got it done. But I'll have to say that I spent probably a good year. I, I, I met, the melody to this was written August, 2022. So it's almost coming up to a year, nine months ago, I guess. And I wrote that melody in um, Santa Fe, New Mexico, and I worked on a piano arrangement of it. Uh, and what, what I do with these musical vignettes are as I, and if you want one, this is what I do. I meet with you if you want me to write one for you or your husband's birthday or somebody special in your family. Uh, I find out what kind of music you like or what kind of music they liked. If this is for a birthday or a Christmas gift. You know, I really, we have a, a conversation on the phone or, and you let me know, you know, what they were about, their life. I get video, uh, videos, photos, put that together and eventually I make a really uh, nice video that combines the music and pictures of the family and just things that they love and I put together, it's a real personal expression, but I'm writing an original piece of music. And one of the things that makes it fun is I usually get the dates. So birth dates, wedding dates. And in this case, this is for Andrew. Um, this is celebrating Andrew's life, who would have been 100 years old this day. Thank you so much, Jan, for um, 
being patient. And I just wanted to give you a little um, background on the piece so you can hear some things in the piece and how I make it personal. One of the ways I take is the, the ways that I do this, do this is I take the numbers and I tra translate that into music. So Andrew was born on June 6th, that's today. I'm sorry, not June 6th, June 11th, uh, 1923. Isn't that, wow. June 11th, 1923. And so what I do is I'll take those numbers and we're gonna, this piece is in the key of A major. So if I, if I count A as one, that's the tonal center, two, three, four, five, six. So June, that's the month. And then uh, 11, that's one, one. Let me turn this up a little bit. And then two, three. So just those notes right there are very melodic to me. Uh, you've got the uh, relative, you've got the, the F sharp, which kind of implies a minor sound, but it also could be just uh, leading up to the one. So what I did was I took the actual, I took not, um, I took six, one, one, two, three. So, so at the beginning of the piece, you'll hear the harp playing this kind of arpeggioed, arpeggiated thing. It goes like this. And what I did was I harmonized that and it worked really well. So, so I make it sound like this. Isn't that pretty? It just naturally makes a melody. And then at the end of each phrase, I put in their wedding date, which is uh, January 31st, 1959. So, um, so January being the first month. So we've got one. So one, three, one. And then I skipped the one again, and then nine would be a two, and music nine and two are the same. And so you'll hear this little phrase at, at the end, at the beginning of this piece, so if you, you listen really carefully, what I do is I hit this chord, and I go, sorry, that's really loud. I go, one, isn't that pretty? So one, three, one, Two, five, two. That's that's their wedding date. So a lot of composers did this. Brahms, uh, Mozart. Okay, so um, Andrew was a fan of of, of um, Scottish songs. So uh, I looked up Loch Lamond. That was one of the one of the ones that he liked. So I tried to write something, a melody that was kind of in the flavor of that. And one of the things that I love about um, English, Scottish, Irish music is you have these kind of harmonies. There's a thing called a minor five. So it's really close to the E minor. So it could be a G flat seven going to one, or it could be E minor, which would be the minor five chord in the key of A. And I really like that flavor. It's what we call modal. So uh, Norwegian Woods has that. So that's a similar kind of what we call mixolydian feel, which is the flat seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, instead of going, it's normal, it would be a normal major scale. There's a flat seven. So, so I actually sang a melody. This is all the way back in a year ago, June, early July. I just sang a melody into a recorder that I thought was um, just right off the top. I just improvised it and then I harmonized it over the next couple of months. So you'll hear that melody in the second section, you'll hear. Right? Uh, what is it? So, that melody is pentatonic, which also in that beginning thing, which is based on Andrew's birth date, has that F sharp in there. So what I like to think about the beginning is it's very quiet. It's like music that you would hear when a baby is being born. So I'm being born, like being born, there it is. And um, so that's his birth date. It's like a little seed coming into being. So that little seed is like a little human being born. 
Um, and then it expands and then uh, goes into that more of, of Scottish flavor. Um, anyway, I put my heart into this. I hope you love it. I'm going to put the link below for you to listen to it. If you'd like to listen, if you'd like a musical vignette to be written for one of your family members, reach out to me, 512-589-8749. Jan, I hope you love it. There's a little bit of an explanation of how I put it together. And